that this truth is for everybody. No, it's not. It's for the elect. And believe me, these people on this side, they are the elect of the, of the entire nations and the earth. But among them, there is a different elect. Yeah? Which are the chosen that were, were um, predestined for salvation. Yeah? Let's keep that down. Uh, it's, a, it's a Romans 6 verse 1. It says, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Let's go say, Shall we continue in sin? First thing first, I guarantee you. If you go down and say, Ask them, What is sin? Anybody else can go try. Go ask the majority of them down there, What is sin? Them can't give you a straight answer. They might tell us something you do. We're bad against God. And I don't know what is sin. I find what is sin for me. What about question? And the same people and preach it, um, the last I done away with. But at the same time, in the same breath, uh, conversation, the man tell us, yo, we are sinner. See? That doesn't make any sense. Bring it out, Baba Kosha. 1 John chapter 3, verse 4. Mm -hmm. Whosoever committed sin mm -hmm. transgressed also the law. The word, the word transgress means to break or to cheat. So, whosoever committed sin break the laws. What laws? 614 in the Bible, man. 614, no, it's, it, you need to know that it's not just 10. The 10 are just a sub edit. See, there are some simple laws we operate daily as a people who care for care for health. Some of the time we go work on the Sabbath, and the Sabbath is not according to Saturday Sunday, no. Because nowhere in the Bible you have found the word Saturday Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, what no. The first day. It's the first new moon. One complete moon cycle is one month. Yeah? That's one month. That's the reason why a woman says she see our monthly, our menstrual cycle. Men's is come from moon. Yeah? So we're not changing the topic still. Um, can't do that. For sin is the transgression of the law. For sin is the breaking of the very father's law. So when a James Creature cast a man property and go sexy woman, you are a sinner, because you break the Heavenly Father's law. It is as simple as that. For sin is a transgression of the law. A whoop of people don't know. See? So we are here to tell people that that is sin. See? Uh, and you can repent, because now is the time for the Lord of, um, freely for you people to repent. Yeah, because the time of grace is about to be up. Now is the time for us to repent as a people because the Lord have a sword over all of our heads, man. Believe me when I tell you, the reason why you see China are heavily invested in Jamaica is because the Lord have a sword over your people's head. The reason why the American government has say, oh, Jamaica not share enough intelligence is because the Lord have a sword over your head. Sin. And that sword is very sharp, as he said in um, um, Ezekiel 21. See? Um, where do you hurry? Finish up, finish up that before we go anywhere. Else. Yeah. So, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Go ahead. God forbid. How shall we have? How shall we have that our dead to sin live any longer therein? Exactly. How shall we have that our dead to sin live any longer therein? Because at the end of the day, we are, we, we are being consumed, man. We are being consumed daily because of transgressions, man. Sin, daily. Hey, my brother, you believe in the Bible? You believe in the Bible? No, I'm going to ask simple question. You believe in the Bible? That's all I want. You believe in the Bible, brother? You believe in the Bible? Why do you believe in the Bible? How much that you need? So, what do you tell us how one that you need? Huh? Yeah, but I'm Why? Uh, tell me something in the Bible you don't believe. Where, where, where you think? Ah, oh, I'm going to show you the right way. One thing. Tell me about it. Make him try first. Make him try first. Yeah. Remember the story of Adam and Eve. Yeah, what do you say about Adam and I've never said that. No, but, no, the Bible, the man said about Apple, the Bible never said that. 
Even if a man write the Bible, the Bible never said he eat apples. So what is it? Come and find it. If you can, go and find it. Genesis 3. What are your questions, brother? Yeah, man, what are your questions? Let's not deal with time at that time. See? Exit. We're not a religion, we're the Israelites. You are an Israelite. Look, we're a tribe of Israel. Okay, well, we are, we are the same. We are a race of people, not a religion. Okay. Go on. Right. Genesis 3, verse 2. Uh -huh. And the woman said unto the serpent, yep. we, are, we may eat of the fruit of the tree of the garden. All right, voila. So the scripture mention of some key terminology where you have to know. It says, and the woman said unto the serpent. Now the first thing that might come to your mind is a snake. Don't it? A, a snake, yeah. Okay. And when you hear about woman, that is about a literal woman, don't it? Yeah. Okay. But them things are literal. And the Bible explain all of that to you. So the woman was a talk about saying, well, that, that point in time, that woman, literal. But so many times you mention of a woman in a literal. It's a talk about race of people. Yeah. Hey, I'm on. Yeah. Is there Jesus? Um, we're going to go now. We're going to go now. We don't want to leave the brother hanging. We want to completely answer the question. So we're going to deal with the serpent, serpent. And, the serpent. and the fruit and what the fruit is. Yeah, yeah because the thing is, um, when it comes on to spiritual understanding, you know, a lot of that what people never get. Okay, really so I have to explain all of them things, that the fruit, you can explain the fruit, water, milk, all them things. You know what I mean? We know that you hear about the garden of Eden and are two people in the garden and them things there. You know what I mean? And a two, two persons alone got created like two single persons. No, and that the Bible has to be You know what I mean? All of it. You ever think they call color burry? You ever think they call color burry? You ever think they call them use symbolic things to refer to something else. You know what I mean? So that Genesis 2, when you read Genesis 2, most of that you hear like the garden and things that is a literal garden. The scripture explains what the garden is. You know what I mean? So we're gonna read all that make it here or read the one, yeah? See the brother. So from top. Ezekiel chapter 31, verse 8. Alright. The cedars in the garden of God could not hide it. Alright, start from top, brother. Ezekiel chapter 31, verse 1. Alright. And it came to pass in the eleventh year, in the third month, in the first day of the month. Ezekiel chapter 31 verse 3. Behold, the Assyrian was a cedar in Lebanon. Well, uh, so you, you know who is Assyrian? Who, or who, who, what is Kutakali call Assyrian? Assyrian. People. That means we're trying to prove. See, so it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a people and trees. See, go ahead. With five, with the branches, and with, and so, with a shadow okay. in the ground, so it basically a compare a man with a tree. So, 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 so basically, just like you don't hear about a family tree, you know actually toss it, you know actually speak of a, of a family tree as a literal tree. You understand? So it's a compare a man here to a tree. Right? One, so two clear branches and with shadowing shroud right. and, and, and a nice statue yeah. and his stuff was among the thick bones. The waters made him great. Right. The king set him on high. Right, so right here, if you it's not talk about a literal tree, you know not talk about literal water neither. See, so we have a break now what the water is not talk about too. You go on. Set him on high. Right. Her rivers running round about his plants. Right. And sent out her little rivers and all trees of the field. Right. Therefore, his height was exalted above all the trees of the field right. and his bones were so all them tree and a literal tree because it basically I mean, a switch from the month and a compare the month to a tree. So means that every other tree is not literal trees. 
right? What? And his walls were multiplied, and his branches became long because of the multitude of waters. Right? When he shot forth, all the foes of heaven made their nest in his walls. Right now, we are talking about foes now. So you could not talk about literal foes if on a literal trees. So we are, we are counting a couple of again to understand what I want. And under his branches, with all the beasts of the field, we bring forth their young, their young right. and under his shadow dwell all great nations. Right. All great nations. So the beasts we're talking about is what? Great nations. So we're not talking about literal, not about literal beasts. Yeah, what? Thus was he feared in, the great, in his greatness, in the length of his branches, right. for his root was by great water. Right. Cedars in the God of God. So okay, we are talking about the God, not God now. So these cedars were literal cedar trees. They were people. Yeah, what? Do not hide him. Right. The fir trees were not like his buds. Right. Oh. Oh. And the chestnut trees were not like his branches. Right. Not any tree in the God of God was like unto him in right. his beauty. Right. So you're not talking about that kingdom that rich and uh, of uh, good looks, meaning like for America pretty, and you can't compare another country to America, something like that. Right. What? Yeah. I have made him fear by the multitude of his branches, so that all the trees of Eden that work in so, the garden. What is it? The Eden that I talk about now, the Eden I read about in Genesis. So all the trees of Eden, you know what? All the trees of, of Eden that work in the garden of God envied him. Right, so the other people that was living there in the kingdom because the garden was a kingdom. It is not, it is not a literal garden. So all the other nation them envy them. Yes, sir. See? So it can use a tree to refer as a man. Yeah, what the fuck? Um, this is a Mark 8 verse 23. Right. It says, And he took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the town. And when he had spit on his eyes and put his hands upon him, he asked him if he, if he saw God. Right. And he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. Right. So I'm saying, I see men as trees. So make a comparison. I mean, in the upright. Yeah. Upright. Now, right? upright. So, when you read Genesis 2, and you read about the garden, it's not a literal garden of people. And the fruit is what? Them teeth, brother. Knowledge. Knowledge. Knowledge of the tree. See, that's what I said. That's what I said. The knowledge of the tree of what? Good and, Good and evil. So the doctrine where them spit. Naturally, when they mean a Christian church, I read this. You understand this. Alright. You understand it. You understand it. You understand it. You understand it. Where can get him away from them? Can't tell you no. because I'm reading that's two people. Yes. All right, give me Genesis 4, brother. The Genesis 4, um, Adam, yeah. Adam, as you can see, all the Bible is. Yeah, you yeah. can see the Bible. So I can't get you away. See, I'll yeah, show you what I'm going on because the thing is, the thing is, no, let's clear the thing for the brother first. You know what I mean? All right, you hear them talk about Adam and Eve, right? All right, so just like when you say, man. And woman are mankind to cover the whole thing. I see where the word Adam used. Yeah? I'm going to show you. Genesis 1. Right. Genesis 5, verse 1. Right. This is the book of the generation of Adam. Oh, yeah. It's the yeah. book of the generation. And then one and two so much. Right. Because then, in the day that God created man in the likeness of God, made he him right. and male and female created he them. them. One. And bless them and call their name Adam. And call their name Adam. Meaning, like meaning man and woman and everybody are Adam. After yes. the wrong. Yes. Man. Good. Adam. Good. Adam. So, when the teacher say oh, a two individual alone in the garden, our so called garden, not the bus up. I want to say oh, they're naked. See, they never talk about literal nakedness. They talk about them shame because them, them, they break the laws them and they break the most of the laws them and them shame so they break the law. That's what the scripture refers to nakedness. Exactly. You know what I mean? Um, here's some point. They say if the Lord come and catch you today in your weakness, you say, you what? You must find you naked and they shall see his shame. So you're seeing your nakedness, brother. It's not literal nakedness. They never literal naked. You understand? So when you read, when you read Genesis 